Dr. Jumanis Group in the University of Texas Austin. Here we are going to present you the first flexible phosphorine audio receiver based on some bipolar behavior of phosphorine computer transistors. Here is the phone station where the device is now located. And those two are the power supply to bias the device to its bipolar point. And this is the music source that you're hearing, and this is the speaker. First of all, let's verify that the device is actually working. So if I turn off the drain voltage, then you're not going to hear anything. So let me turn the drain voltage off. So you can't hear anything. Let me turn it back on. Now you hear the loud music going on again. The whole system could work mainly because of the unpolar behavior of phosphor and human transistors. So if I now turn its state bias away from its unpolar point, you will hear the reduction of the music volume. Currently, the device is biased at zero point. Now let me turn it off. Now the gate bias is away from its unpolar point, so you'll not hear anything. And let me turn it to the negative part till minus 500 millivolt. Same. And now let me turn it back to a zero point. So you can enjoy the music again. Thank you for watching. This is my colleague Murthy, and today we're going to demonstrate that our devices are very robust even after 500 times of bending with uniaxial strain of 1.5%. The modulated signal will be sent through our devices, and the demodulated signal will be sent back to the speaker. Now, let me turn on my devices. Now, let's enjoy the music. This is a very nice sound.